Hi folks, welcome back. We're going to review the uh, Boost Mobile Solero 5G phone. I uh, could not find any information on it online. Um, this is direct from Boost Mobile, um, currently owned by Dish Network. This is their flagship budget phone. As you can see here, uh, we have the phone on the right hand side, the AC power adapter, and USB-C cable on the left, as well as a SIM card extractor. Now here you see the thumbprint scanner in the very middle, as well as the audio or volume up and down on the right hand side. And in the next photo here we'll see the SIM card and SD card. Now we're looking at the back of the phone. Uh, it shows the model is a WT Solero. Now we're going to take a look at the bottom. On the left hand side you're going to see your audio jack, your microphone, USB-C and your speaker on the right hand side. Now we'll look at the other side of the phone. This is your SIM card and SD card tray, which you'll need your tool for or a very thin needle. And on the top of the phone, there's another microphone. And once again, this is our thumbprint, fingerprint reader. And on the very back, you're going to see three cameras and one flash. Now for our boot up sequence, this is shortly after turning on the phone by holding in the power button. And it takes about 20 to 30 seconds to boot the system. Now once you're into the system, you're going to see uh, that Google tries to get your phone ready. And then it'll try to copy your data from your old phone to your new phone. What I found very helpful is to have a USB-C to USB-A dongle. And that way you can plug in your, your cable to uh, both phones and transfer the data that way. It took much less time to do it that way than over wireless. Okay, we'll turn our phone back on. As you can see, our custom background. Default settings are no app tray, so you have to swipe up from the bottom to the top. And we'll go into the settings. Lots of settings with uh, Android 11. We're going to flip it to the sideway view. Auto rotate is on. Not all phones enable that. Now we're just going to look through some of the settings. Display, sound, storage, privacy. And by default, the phone comes with uh, about 12 gigs used. That's before it's activated onto Boost Mobile. As of right now, there's 14 gigs used. If you caught it there, the system is taking up 11 gigs of the space. We're going to look at the system update. And at this point in time, we already updated the system, so there's not going to be another update. But it takes about 30 minutes, uh, whenever you receive the phone, to receive the new update and uh, reboot the system to apply the update. Now we're going to go into the 3D Marks application. Can't really see the stats at the bottom there, but it is running. Very slow frame rate. And... The score versus all devices is 17%. And then uh, since this is a, a new phone in the 3D Mark system, we uh, just went ahead and submitted our details. So this next uh, test is Geekbench 5. We'll let that run for a minute. And our final score. It's interesting to see Wing Wingtech is the uh, manufacturer of, of this phone. So Boost Mobile or Dish Network teamed up with Wingtech to develop the phone and produce it. It has um, eight co total cores. Memory is about four gigs. 
and some general stats after running the Geekbench 5 test. Not a very powerful phone, but um, for entry level phones, it's not too bad. And that's it for the Boost Mobile Solero 5G. Overall, not a bad phone. Uh, one thing you will find is that there is not any instruction manual, so there's not a lot of details, uh, both online or written material that is sent to you.